The knocking sound you'll hear in a moment signals possible engine mount damage. You can hear it when you move off or stop, but also during engine load change and at higher speeds. Another indicator of engine mount wear or defect is increased vibration in the steering wheel area, that is, the dashboard, and vibration of the interior mirror, in particular when driving at higher speeds. This is today's topic. We're going to demonstrate how to diagnose a defective engine mount and explain why it should be changed. Obviously, you should replace a defective engine mount for safety reasons, but also to protect surrounding components from consequential damage. And your customers will benefit from additional added value. The improvement in driving comfort can be felt right away. Any unpleasant noise and vibration during operation will disappear with a new engine mount. It almost feels like driving a brand new car after the worn engine mount has been replaced. Having the engine mount replaced is an investment which pays off immediately. To make it a little more hands-on, let's look at this engine mount exhibit. This area here is the engine compartment. This is the engine. On the other side, you can see the respective engine mounts. But you don't need such a fancy exhibit. There is a simple and effective way you can demonstrate the principle to your workshop customers. Take just any container, fill it with water and place it on the engine block and you'll see the water vibrating. In any case, changing a defective engine mount is always a good idea. The following animation shows the surrounding components you protect from consequential damage by replacing a defective engine mount. There are several ways of diagnosing a defective engine mount. We'll come to that in a moment. It is important to know that a defective engine mount has the same impact on driving comfort as a defective transmission mount. As for their design, they are basically one and the same. In fact, the only difference is where they are located in the car. How the system components are connected is shown in the next animation. The first method of diagnosing engine mount wear is simply by looking closely at it. Look for cracks, the rubber to metal bond coming loose, or in the case of hydraulic engine mounts, for fluid leaks. We have seen parts where the rubber has completely sagged, which caused the part to contact the body or nearby components. With electrically switchable engine mounts, there may also be error codes. What we do next is perform a noise check. It's best to do this when you start or stop the engine, or during engine load change. As already shown, this is a good way to find out if there is any deflection of the engine. In other words, if there is excessive vibration in the system, this will be another indicator of engine mount damage. The clacking metallic sound you just heard at the end signals a possible engine mount defect. What we do next is put the car on the lifting platform to do the same noise test and visual inspection from underneath the body. This might also reveal some other damage to the system. The next animation shows a 3D comparison of all three generations of Myler engine mounts.
replacing worn engine mounts is an investment that pays off well. Your customer will be thrilled by the new driving experience following the replacement. Would you like to be notified in the future as soon as a new video is released? Then subscribe to our Myla TV YouTube channel or become a fan of the Myla Facebook page. To find the Myla part you need, for example the Myla engine mount, see your specialist trader. There is more to explore on our website www.myla.com